From the fish sticks box to the Fisherman's Memorial in Gloucester, there's a time-worn image of the men who make up the commercial fishing industry. But on shore, it's often women who do the essential work, and they have for centuries. You name it, there are women in every aspect. At New Bedford's Fishing Heritage Center, Laura Orleans is telling the story of the city's fishing industry, past, present, and future. New Bedford has a rich history as a whaling port, and we are also the most valuable fishing port in the nation, and we've been a really significant fishing port since around 1909. Orleans says while men traditionally hauled in the fish, once the vessel and the catch were returned to land, women were integral to everything that happened next. Somebody's got to do all of the math to figure out who gets what amount of money when a boat comes in and sells its catch. Seafood processing is another one. That aspect of packing fish, cutting fish, sorting fish has been something that has always involved women. So when there are concerns about the regulations or about safety or other issues, it's often women who are the ones attending the meetings. In 2021, the Fishing Heritage Center featured the stories of dozens of women working in commercial fishing in a range of ways. Photos from that exhibit are now on display at New Bedford City Hall. Over a couple of decades, I've watched young women in their you know, mid to late teens assume leadership roles in their families' businesses. And now we have quite a few women who are really leading the industry. All right, I'll reach out to everybody. Stacy Alexander Nevels is part of that group, working just across the Acushnet River in Fairhaven. My parents created Atlantic Shellfish. Growing up in it, I didn't think I'd be a part of it. Then, now stepping into it, it's where I was always meant to be. My favorite part is working with my dad. As vessel operations manager, she oversees the company's 19 boats. Most of them catch scallops. We are in the wheelhouse of a boat. When you say you're a woman who works in commercial fishing, you really get, what? Like you're on a boat. They don't realize what happens behind the scenes and what it takes to actually run an operation. We need to make sure that all the safety equipment is where it needs to be. We need to make sure the vessel is operating at 100%. Alexander Nevels loves her work and the fishing community, especially seeing other women step into leadership roles. In New Bedford, you have the next generation of women stepping up to the plate, and it's really an exciting time. Back in New Bedford, Heather Haggerty is also carrying on her family's business. At Big G Seafood, the specialty is conch, also known as congealy. I've had grown men crying when they've arrived here and found out that it was sold out on Christmas Eve. It's not just fish coming into the facility at Big G. Haggerty also buys and sells horseshoe crabs, which serve a dual purpose. The horseshoe crabs are used for bait, for catching the conchs. But before that, the crabs essentially become blood donors, with a portion of their blood removed and used to make testing kits to check the safety of IV drugs and vaccines. I've spent about 22 years providing the blood to the pharmaceutical industry for the safety of intravenous drugs and vaccines, and I am pretty proud of that. Haggerty wasn't expecting to end up in this role, but that all changed with a call from her dad, who was starting to plan for retirement. I was in the middle of my career, and I was studying for my master's degree. And we went over all of the paperwork and some ideas, and I never left the building. It's been a lot of fun. It's been quite an adventure, and the time I spent with my father was wonderful. The G in the company's name has changed over the years. First, it was Gus, as in founder Gus Vareo. Haggerty's father, George Smith, kept the name during his time at the helm. And now that Haggerty is the boss, it is now Big Girl Seafood. Love that. And you may have noticed that we've been using the term fisherman throughout the show, even when talking about women in the industry. And we did talk to people in the industry about the preferred term. Yeah, Laura Orleans from the New Bedford Fishing Heritage Center says that many women still prefer the term fisherman because she believes that fishermen helps to emphasize and equalize their role in the industry that still where women still face a lot of bias. Yes, and still male-dominated, mm -hmm. but changing. Coming up, kelp on the cutting edge.